All right, so in today's video, uh, we're gonna talk about nose, mouth, and your ears. Okay, my last video we did, um, like I showed you how to draw an eye. Oh, the glare on my glasses. Uh, this one will be a little different. I actually just finished up drawing a nose, a mouth, and an ear. I gave you two examples for each. One is a super basic example, uh, which we'll talk about. And the one right beside it is a little more, not too crazy, but a little more complex. Uh, if you want to get a little, you know, I don't know the word. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. Um, I want to just say, personally, you know, I'll just show you. Personally, for me, noses are probably the hardest. Um, so what I did, so we got the super basic example on, I don't, your left side, your right side, I don't know. <laughs> to me, this is the right side, but it'll probably be your left side. Um, on this side super basic and then on this side i drew the same exact shape except i added what's that word value oh good job uh value i added value so i added shading and shading is always what takes something to the next level that's like i love adding shading and highlights which we can talk about later uh to drawings i love it it looks so great okay so um i guess i can kind of do a little demo as we do this let's we'll start with the nose um, again, I teach middle school, so that's ages 11 to 14. So that's kind of, that's not a huge uh, age gap or age difference, but um, I have to be able to break things down quite simple for certain students to get it. So when I teach noses, obviously noses can be kind of intimidating. What I say is for the side of your nostrils, you're going to draw, a little stuck, you're going to do two parentheses. Everybody knows what parentheses are. So you're going to do two parentheses for the sides and then you do two little rainbows inside of the parentheses. That's literally what I say. All right. So I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can see it. So I'm going to do one parentheses, two parentheses, boom, boom. We're already halfway done. And then you do a little rainbow and then another little rainbow. Please do not ever do this or I don't know what that is please don't I see a lot of students draw this I think coming from like anime this is not this is never okay don't ever do that <laughs> this is okay if you're doing like a side view a profile but when we're talking about straight on nobody's nose looks like this and I mean I'm realizing how crooked this one is too but your nose most likely looks like this or like this okay um, so if you if you're a person who does this from a straight on view, please stop and let's start practicing how to do this. OK, so again, it's just two parentheses with two little rainbows and then you can add you can add this little um, nose line coming from your eyebrow. Boom. It's just a curve. So you just be like, pew. OK, well, that's not good. Don't do it like that. Uh, <laughs> do another one. A lot of kids like to add two. I don't. I, if I add one, I do one, and then add just like a little hint, okay? Um, wow, that's really crooked. <laughs> Trust me, I did this. I just drew this. Moving on. Okay, I think we got it. We understand? All thumbs up, okay? Um, so lips. Lips and noses. They are so different. Some people have zero lips. Some people have big, juicy lips. It really depends on who you're drawing. Um, but there's kind of a basic way to do it, okay? So what I always start with, obviously we have our basic version, and then the one that we kicked it up a notch, okay? Hopefully this will be better than my nose. So uh, what I always start with is do a V for like your little Cupid's bow part. Most people have this. Some people it's a little more straight-ish, but just for learning now, I'm gonna draw a V. So go ahead and draw your V if you're doing your lips. And then you're going to come to the top. I hope you can see this. Come to the top and you're going to curve down. Okay. And then you're going to come to the other side and do the same exact line. I'm going to try to make mine even real quick. That is not even. We all make mistakes. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's going to be our top lip. 
Um, so what we do next is the middle line. Please don't draw a straight line going across, like boom, straight. Don't do that. And the reason we don't do that is because our lips, like if you have lips, they're like curvy and they have like shape and you know, they're not flat. So what I always do is you're gonna do a tiny, tiny little like upside down rainbow. The slightest, not like shoop, but just a little like a little tiny one. And then you're gonna kind of float, go down and meet that point. Hopefully that made sense. So, cause we're not doing a straight line across. That just is gonna make your drawing look flat again. So a little, a little dip. And then we're just gonna connect them. And all you gotta do for your bottom lip is do a big old upside down rainbow. Okay, and actually your uh, bottom lip is bigger, for the most part, is bigger than your top. So, mm, that was a weird sound I made, sorry. <laughs> Dude, please trust me, I can draw. <laughs> all right, give or take, that's what we got. So, um, I wanna talk about this real quick. Because the nose, it was kind of hard to talk about. I just, those are just where I saw the shadows. I actually looked at my nose <laughs> in this and drew it. Um, that's just where I saw my shadows. So like every dark spot you see, that's, that's what I drew. Your lips is actually a little bit easier to explain. So do you notice that, um, excuse me, I had a hiccup, that the top lip, I shaded it in, and then the bottom one I didn't really... Should it in? Do you know why? Do you want to think about it for a few seconds? Um, I'll go ahead and tell you. Your bottom lip, for the most part, actually sticks out a little further than your top lip. I don't know. Let's see if mine. <laughs> I just moved my entire computer. I don't know if it does, um, but your bottom lip should kind of stick out a little further. Therefore, it catches light. And then from your nose, usually, your nose will kind of cast a shadow on your top lip. So even if you don't shade it in that much, um, just give it a little, I'll bring it closer. Give it a little shading. Okay, and for the most part, leave that bottom lip blank. So you can probably tell the corners of your mouths, if you can see, where they meet, there will be shadow on both um, the top and the bottom lip. So just shade your corners in a little bit. And I shaded these in and I kind of, went around the bottom lip, like right here, or right there. Hopefully you can see it on mine. And then your lip right here always uh, casts a shadow right before your chin. So that's what that little bit is, okay? So that's how you go from here to here. It's just adding those little bits of shadow. And if you're ever confused, grab a mirror and actually look at your face and really pay attention to the shadows um, of your face. Okay, last one. So your ear, probably one of the easiest ones to do, which is funny because like ears look so complicated, but they're not. Uh, the easiest way for me to explain it for my students, I'm not gonna do a demo here because I'm gonna mess that up just like I did these two over here. What I say for them, for a really, really basic beginner one, you just do a candy cane or like a half of a heart, okay? Ears basically, I mean, ears are different too. But, you know, if you want a basic one, just do half a candy cane. Then you're gonna draw this little line right here, which is like the top part. And then you just do a little swoop, do a little swivel for um, inside right here, okay? And for the little more complex one, I did change the shape a little bit. I gave this one a little more of an earlobe, like came down and then out a little bit. And then I just started adding shadows and shading. Um, and again, I actually just looked at my ear in this webcam and just shaded every every part that I saw was darker on my ear. I just shaded in it in with my pencil. And I think next I'm going to make a dedicated video just solely about shading and highlighting and whatnot. Um, but that's this. Hopefully that helped a little bit. I think for a beginner it's fairly okay. I don't want to say easy because um, I don't know who's watching this. Um, but I think you can do it. Definitely give it a try. Um, and hopefully some of y'all will show me. <laughs> um, but that's that for this one. And I'll see you next video. Bye.